So a little over a month ago, Roblox RTC uploaded this tweet where there was a bug that could randomly make players jump incredibly high. I tried to replicate this, but never knew how. Fast forward to roughly two weeks ago, a friend of mine showed me the same bug and taught me how to do it. They introduced me to this thing called Roblox Fast Flags. What are they exactly? From what I understand, Fast Flags are Roblox's values and functions inside of their own engine, and they use these to change things around without having to push an update out every time they want to change something. I'm not an expert in all this, so correct me if I'm wrong. These fast flags can include the random super jump I mentioned, enabling ESP, wall gliding, and more. We can essentially have half-baked exploits inside of Roblox. Not all of these fast flags are malicious though. There are some good fast flags out there that can really make your Roblox experience a lot better. These can include the ability to hide GUIs, have unlimited scroll wheel zoom if the game allows it, FPS unlockers, lower texture quality and terrain, or disabling that dumb full screen bar every time you hover your mouse on top of your screen. There's quite a lot of them that you can use. I'll leave a few links in the description below if you want to look at the entire list. I'm not sure what all of them do or if they all work properly. Now I know you're wondering how you can use this. Blockstrap is an open source bootstrapper. It replaces Roblox's usual launcher with this instead, bringing several different quality of life features like allowing you to run multiple instances of Roblox, great for using alt accounts. It brings back the old death sound, as an FPS unlocker. If you're worried about getting banned, don't worry. It does not edit or modify Roblox in any way, so you won't get detected for using this. The worst thing that could happen is if you get banned from your favorite game by using fast flags, so be careful when using this as games do have their own detection systems. To download this, I'll leave a link in the description. It only works on Windows, so for anyone using anything else, it's not possible. After setting it up, launch the app. You will then be greeted by this entire menu here. Head to Fast Flags and then click on Fast Flag Editor. Then you'll see this button here called Import JSON. This is where our archive list comes in. But let's say I want to show my FPS at all times. What I'll do is copy it and paste it into here. Click OK and then save. Now I'll join my game just to see if it works. And there it is, top left corner. I do recommend keeping a notepad of sorts to keep track of which ones you use frequently, as there's no way for you to enable or disable these. Anyways, please be careful about this and please use it responsibly. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.